Welcome to our carnival. We've animals large and small and every sort of instrument lined up to play them all. Come stroll round our menagerie. It's the best of musical feasts. So let's get started right away with the king of all the beasts. The mighty and majestic lion is just a lazy jerk. It's actually the lioness who's stuck with all the work. She hunts, she kills, he scoffs the lot with an entitled air, then thinks by roaring once or twice he's done the lion's share. The rooster stands above the crowd, puffs out his chest, crows long and loud. His hens are dashing everywhere. He doesn't seem to see or care. But I don't heed his boastful cries. One of the hens has caught my eyes. It's nearly time to have my tea, and she's just laid an egg for me. An elephant and a double bass met in the woods one day. The bass player, without more ado, sat down and began to play. The elephant's trunk began to wave and let out a merry hoot. He got up on his big back legs and hopped from foot to foot. The bass player said, I didn't know how much you loved to dance. I really do, said the pachyderm, but I seldom get the chance.
would you catch a kangaroo? It's always on the hop. You can't wait for it to stop. Grab it by its tail? <laughs> That's an easy way to fail. Trap it in a snare? It'll jump right out of there. And if you try a trick, it'll give you such a kick. So what can one do with a kangaroo? I don't know. Do you? The love song of the donkey is a strange and wondrous thing designed to help an animal that really cannot sing. It's just two notes, one high, one low, as often as you wish. <laughs> Sounds weird to me, but to an ass, it's obviously delish. <whistles> It's over here. No, over there. That cuckoo pops up everywhere. I've tried to track it by its call, but I can't pin it down at all. I'm really getting rather vexed. Oh, where, oh, where will it pop up next? Walked into the aviary, what did I see? Every bird in the world staring back at me. Peacocks strutting on the ground, condors overhead. Gorgeous bird of paradise turned its gaudy head. A flying, singing treasure chest laid out for me to see. Your colours take my breath away. <gasps> I wish that you were free. Thank you. 
In the deep of the night, the fossils wake. They stir, they quiver, they start to shake. They remember how good it used to feel to be alive. Toe bones, heel bones start to tap. Legs start to move. They find the beat, they feel the groove. At dawn, they'll have to stop their play. But for now, they dance the night away. Tortoises don't hurry. Tortoises don't worry. They simply can't be doing with commotion. In calmness they proceed without the need for speed. And if they run, they do it in slow motion. The beautiful swan is as vain as can be. He just doesn't care for you or for me. His head is bent so that he can look and admire himself in the flowing brook. And then he'll sigh with a tear in his eye. Who could possibly be as lovely as me?